Let's face it, life isn't easy. If you're stuck in a bad relationship, betrayed or afraid of tomorrow, financially insecure or desperate for a breakthrough, you've come to the right place. Dr. Carmen Hara is a renowned psychologist, intuitive, relationship expert, and best-selling author, and she's here to give you the miracle guidance you need. Her new Colin show, Miracle Guidance for Everyday Life, offers profound wisdom, practical advice, daily exercises, and empowering predictions, all for you. Dr. Hara's show aims to eliminate everyday problems, big and small, with topics like healing your relationships, reclaiming your power, achieving better health, dealing with loss, and so much more. Regain the joy, stability, and fulfillment you deserve to feel. Tune in to Miracle Guidance for Everyday Life with host Dr. Carmen Hara, live every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern, and find the answers you've been looking for. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Miracle Guidance. I'm uh, Carmen Hara your host and um, every 7 p.m. Eastern Time on Home Time Radio with my producer, Christopher. And I'd love to start the show by wishing happy birthday to Christopher's daughter. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, beautiful daughter. Happy birthday to you. You know, um, it's so beautiful to have um, a daughter. It's so beautiful to celebrate her birthday. And it's kind of sad when she's not around you uh, on her birthday, but she's in Florida. So, you know, Florida is raining like crazy, by the way. But um, it's warm outside and um, the energy is great. And uh, coming back to the show, uh, tonight the show is dedicated to helping you become your most powerful self. And we start by wishing happy birthday to everybody who wants to become the most powerful self. So this hour is an hour of empowerment. Now, you know very well that life is about a battle, a constant battle between good and bad, a constant battle between good and evil. And uh, it's a battle between our strength and our weaknesses. And as human beings, we are very vulnerable and very prone to errors. And uh, on the other hand, we are also equipped with divine power, divine energy, and divine inspiration. But through, through life, through the haze of daily life, we can lose ourselves and feel anything but powerful. So when circumstances are overwhelming, uh, like nowadays what's happening in the world, the circumstances are so overwhelming And that makes us, all of us, feel lost, feel exhausted, feel hopeless. Death, uh, uh, illnesses, uh, pandemics, uh, separation that lead to financial problems, arguing about how to get out of it. Uh, All of this put together can rob us of our personal power. And uh, it's a very normal, normal situation that can happen to the, to the strongest people. What's not normal is for us to allow ourselves to become uh, uh, lost and, um, and to relinquish our uh, power to our problems, giving our problems control over us, giving our emotions control over us. So after what happens, it becomes difficult to get back into a position of power and and a position of regaining control. So falling victim to our circumstances, meaning that we come blind to our purpose. And the truth is that it's so much easier to lose our power than to gain our power. But there are so many ways to reawaken your inner voice. And I'm here and I'm doing the show tonight to kind of help you and in a way teach you the most effective ways, exercises for mental and emotional strength. Because as I said, you know, life is a battle between weaknesses and strength. And you want to find your emotional strength. Don't allow your emotional weaknesses to take over. Now, we know very well that within... Within you, there is a a dormant power that begs to be awakened. 
but your true force can't be discovered until it's been put to the test. And the test is the more you overcome, the stronger you are. The more you overcome. I always look at people's lives and I work with people and see how people are resilient creatures and they try to overcome, constantly overcome uh, and, and get stronger through life. But some people, they think they're weak and they think, oh, I've been damaged and they got stuck in the mentality that they are damaged and then there's absolutely nothing to be done. And as a person like myself who's been through a lot in life, through a lot of challenges, I am uh, trying to assure you that that's not true. In fact, the opposite is true. The more challenges you defeat, uh, the more uh, you access your power and build the immunity against your problem. And that's what you want to do. You want to build that immunity against your problem. And, and look at the, I want you to look at the human race. And I want you to think for a second what the human race has been accomplished. And like in a moment of reflection, because what's happening to us for a while, we're in a phase of reflecting. We introspect our lives. We are sent back home to introspect our lives. And look at the, at the human race building empires through centuries. Human race inventing life challenges, technology overcoming the First World War, the Second World War, uh, different diseases, pandemics. So we, sh we have been shown to be resilient beyond what we thought possible. And that's being just modest about our potential because we are so, we have such potential. The individuals who have discover their inner force and that's what i try you to discover tonight your inner force because those are the ones whose names are pronounced every day as the great thinker and the doers of the world so think think for a second the the doers of the world you know who we admire who we repeat their quotes you know because they are the thinker of the world and that's just because those people became the thinker and the doers of the world. Why? Because they discovered their inner force. So you can be a thinker of the world and you can be a doer of the world and you can change your life, the community and everything. If you, of course, you know, uh, uh, harness your strength, increase your power and work on, on that incredible resilience that you have. Now, uh, before I go and take your calls, and I know there's so many of you all the time calling me, which I'm so, so um, extremely grateful. I'm going to talk to you guys tonight. I have uh, Robin, Margo, Jonathan, and a guy from New York. And anyone calling me tonight, uh, I feel so blessed to talk to you because it's a blessing to connect to one of each of one of you you know tonight and and kind of you know you share your stories and this is the way you know we empower each other uh that's why i invite you to uh, to call the show and the number to call in is 202-570-7057 202-570-7057 and christopher whose daughter is celebrating her birthday today he's gonna take your calls and connect you with me so, um, as I said, so feel free to call in and let's talk about the world, let's talk about yourself and let's talk about how we together can change the world, can cross the bridge to a better, to a new reality. Because, you know, all of you are asking me, oh, why do I see 11-11 on the clock? Why, why is this 11-11? Because from 2033, we have 13 years left, we're entering the era of Aquarius, which is the era of 11. 11, 11 means enlightenment. Now, 2,000 years in the era of the darkness, uh, reflected in wars, uh, diseases, um, uh, killing each other, you know, is coming to an end. And can you envision a world of light, a world of uh, peace? Can you envision? But guess what? It's actually coming. But, but, there is a but, like in everything. We need to cross the bridge between one world into the next. And how are we going to do that? 
we need to make sure that the next 13 years, you know, we are becoming aware of, of the things that we need to heal, of the things that we need to change, and the world that we need to reinvent, redefine, recreate for the betterment of all of us, for the future of the next generations to come. So um, this sounds like a big statement, but I'm very convinced of what I'm saying. So I don't sound at all pessimistic, but I do know that if we don't cross the bridge, then, you know, this world is in a big trouble. So um, I remember being interviewed by William Norwich from New York Times 20 years ago. And he was asking me, how do I see the world in the future? And I said, well, and I said, I told him the same thing. The era of the Kali Yuga is coming to an end, the era of darkness. We go straight to the era of the Enlightenment, the 11th era. But we, and consequently, we had President Obama, who's an 11 in the White House. Um, and, and so it has something to do with, with light, with awareness, with goodness, the goodness in the human race. But I said between 2000 to 2033, for the next 33 years, we have only 13 years left. If we don't know how to cross this bridge, it's going to be catastrophic. And those are my words, and I'm going to make and um, put them. I made a copy of the, the page in New York Times, and I'm going to post it everywhere in my social media so people can see exactly my words 20 years ago. And I can sense that fear of a catastrophic thing happening to us right now if we don't wake up and take the proper measures and come together into saving the world and, uh, you know, saving ourselves indirectly. So, uh, yeah, it's about empowerment. So the show tonight is about how can we become more powerful in order to be powerful, in order to access this uh, extraordinary power within ourselves, we need to look back, you know, look back at our action and look back whatever happened and we did wrong. And we can correct that because we have the power within ourselves. Now, when we talk about um, empower, empowerment, there are some empowering reminders for you. So if you find yourself in the middle of this struggle right now, if, in, if you find yourself in an ordeal, if you find yourself without a job, if you find yourself in a dramatic situation, remember something, some powerful truth. And the number one is, you are more powerful than you can imagine. People don't realize how powerful we are. We only tap into the tips of our true powers. Your power is like an iceberg. What you see on the surface is nothing compared to what's underneath. Number two, you are more powerful than any adversity. You know, you're more powerful than any adversary. Nothing and no one compares to your level of strength. Nothing and no one can overcome you. This is the, the way you should think. Number three, you are more powerful under pressure. Don't let your challenges intimidate you. They were given to you to build up your strength. So if God brought you to it, he will bring you through it. Believe that. So if God brought you to it, he will bring you through it. So this is the way we need to think right now. Together, have the same collective mentality. Number four, you can never lose your power. Power is not something you can lose. You may feel powerless sometimes. You may feel lost, but, but that's only because your problem overshadow your strength for a moment. It's like a cloudy day. The clouds may block out the sun temporarily. It's raining in Florida so bad. There's no sun. But they don't stop your, the sun from existing, from shining. Your power is inherent to you. So you can never lose it, no matter what happens. So number six, your power is within you. No one else can give you power. You, you don't go and buy power in a store. store. The real power, the metaphorical sense of power. Uh, you can only remind you that the power that's already within you is given to you because it's actually your birthright. So it's so significant for you to understand that. So if you want to connect with me, 
I also um, ask you to reach out to me by emailing me at um, carmenhara at AOL, C-R-M-E-N-A-J-A-R-R-A at AOL.com or follow me on social media. I have, uh, I'm on Instagram as Carmen Hara. I have my uh, Facebook page at Carmen Hara fan page. And uh, you can always uh, be part of my family on Carmen Hara on YouTube. And I also have my music, like you listened to my music even last time. So um, I wrote a song for the pandemic, but I have a lot of songs I actually released an entire album um, the fall of last year. So as I said, go to my website, carmenhara.com, and you click on the social media, and that's the easiest way to connect to me. And you also can read my books. I just finished my last book yesterday, which was a big achievement. But uh, um, I will talk about that a lot in the future because I want you to, to read that. It's a time to go back to reading books. It's about time to educate ourselves. It's about time to go back and redefine um, uh, our thinking. And now, and now it's, a, it's time for me to go back and take your calls. And I'm going to go to my first caller, who I think is Jonathan. Hi, Jonathan. How are you, my dear? How do you enjoy the weather in Florida? Can you hear me, Jonathan? Yes, I'm there. Are you there? Yeah. Hi. Uh, I have a question. Um, what do you see for me in the way of romance? In, the, in your romantic life? Yes. Um, what's the month and the, the day of your birth? Because I want to say, I, I don't see too much. Uh, I, I don't quite I, see. My, I, I turned 48 in two days. 48? You're young. Um, two days. Yeah, so I turned 48 you, Thursday. So, so Thursday, so, so, so that's May 28th. So that's C, six months. Oh, so that make that makes sense because you close doors to the last twelve years of your life. So I have a sense of something new or a new relationship, if this makes sense to you. Somebody new will come into your life and it will happen anytime between June of this year all the way down to the summer of the next year. So my feeling is that whatever's happening until now. I don't have a I don't have a sense of um, of you being in a very committed relationship. I don't know if you agree with me. Uh, I don't have a sense that you've been uh, that you settled down into something solid that you're happy with. I feel only from now on. If you missed twelve years ago an opportunity, then it's happening now. So I, I found it interesting that you're asking me this because. Um, Entering a new chapter in the book of your life as of right now, happy birthday to you, and I wish you all the best. Yeah. It's going to be quite remarkable for you in so many respects, not only when it comes to your uh, private life, but only when it comes to your career, to your achievement, to your success, to even financial um, a recognition that you looks like you look like you're gonna get it during this year all the way to the summer of the next year the universe is opening uh, doors for you so uh, a lot of opportunities uh, regardless of the pandemic you personally go to a very good time in your life and romantically will be something completely new do you think uh, oh, i sent you an email about uh because I have a podcast myself about you coming on my show as a guest. Uh, I haven't, I haven't you know. been on any shows lately, but I gladly come to your po podcast. But I don't know. Uh, my assistant is the one handling this. And uh, yeah. I, I'm really sorry because of whatever was going on lately. I haven't really... We haven't really put on a schedule anything definite because things were so... Uh, unclear uh but i would consider consider it absolutely coming on your podcast with a great pleasure and 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 sort of be your guest absolutely okay. so just to resend yeah, that that message one. sorry okay i will I'll, I'll i'll email you okay okay all right my dear i wish you all the best jonathan thank, thank you, you so much for calling me Okay, I think we need to go to a break. I want to ask my producer if we're taking a break, and then I'm going to go and get to 
my other callers, this uh, Margin Robert, Guy, uh, all, all of you, Rosemary from Canada, hold on the line. of the holistic, spiritual, and conscious world. Om Times Radio, IOM FM. Om Times Magazine is one of the leading online content providers of positivity, wellness, and personal empowerment. A philanthropic organization, their net proceeds are funneled to support worldwide charity initiatives via Humanity Healing International. Through their commitment to creating community and providing conscious content, they aspire to uplift humanity on a global scale. Connect at ometimes.com. Ohm Times, creating a more conscious lifestyle. My name is Victor Furman. Some call me The Voice. I've always been fascinated with human nature, spirituality, science, and the crossroads at which they meet. Join me Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern on Ohm Times Radio, and we'll explore these topics and so much more on Destination Unlimited. A social distancing tip. While the CDC urges you to avoid close contact, like hugging or shaking hands, there are other non-physical ways to say hello. Wave, wink, use sign language, salute, smile, give the peace sign, throw up an air high five, do jazz hands. Remember, stay a minimum of six feet or two arms length away from others and stay home if you can. For more info, visit coronavirus.gov. Let's all do our part because we're all hashtag alone together. Brought to you by the Ad Council. And I'm back on Home Time Radio and I love my topic. It's all about empowerment. And I look at all the people in this world who succeed extraordinary things because they believe in themselves and they have something to say and they unleash that power within themselves. So I want you guys to do the same. And as I promised, I'm going to go to your calls and see what's exactly um, bothering you and what's, what, are, what are your questions. And I'm going to go to Canada, I think, to Rosemary. Hi, my dear. How are you? Hi, Carmen. How are you? I'm okay. How are you, my dear? Good to hear your voice. I'm Thank you. I love your topic tonight, too. Um, I'm glad. Which leads me to, to ask, does my son believe in himself enough? Does he have the emotional strength to quit drinking? And will, will his sobriety like, lead him to his life's purpose? What a great question. You know, I deal with um, compulsive disorder personality. So when you don't want to actually hurt yourself, so you're in a conflict with yourself, but you cannot help, help it because there is a, there, there is a, a behavior pattern in, in, the, in, the, in the neurons, and you intentionally mm -hmm. want to stop that. But there is something, a cluster of neurons that created that that uh, 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 habit, and you can break through that. And that's why, uh, uh, you know, there are medication to help people when they cannot help themselves, no matter how much their willpower is, you know. So I feel like in yes. your son, something like this happened at the level of his brain. Uh, because I feel like he's drinking for a while, and I also feel like he's been drinking heavily. Do you agree with me? Yes. So, so yeah. that, that's one of the reasons why this is not something superficial. It already created something like a little bit of a disturbance in, in, the, uh, in what is called the coracolamine inside the brain. So that's why for him it's very hard to overcome. But he's a wonderful man who wants to overcome. And in my opinion, there is something that can be done. And if you will call me one day, I will tell you what he can actually do. And it's easier than you think. Because he needs a bit of help. I help a lot of people overcome this. And, 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 and mm -hmm. I feel like he can be helped and he will not drink. And the moment he will stop drinking, all the goodness in him will come to the surface. 
He will be, you know, the man he's meant to be. And you're going to see the wonderful soul, you know, coming to the surface. Because this is a beautiful human being. Do you agree with me? He certainly is, yes. He wants to do good. But this darkness, this, this addiction, this, this pattern of addictive behavior personality is making him look like the bad guy. But the essence yeah. of who he is, he's a beautiful human being. So we need to, you know, um, uh, take away that, that darkness and help the good in him uh, uh, break through. And it, it, so your question was, can this be done? Absolutely. But he needs a bit of help. And there's something that I will not uh, necessarily speculate on the radio, but I can tell you on a one-on-one -on -one short five minutes conversation in which I will write me an email and I will um, talk to you for five minutes and give you an indication what I suggest your son should do and take. And it's going to be very easy uh, for him, you know what I mean, to, to, to break through this. And he will be fine. And then, then you're going to see, then you're going to see him um, being able to, to get everything, everything done, you know. <clears throat> so this will happen within this year, I hope, mm -hmm. or is it going to take a little longer or good? I have, I, feel kids, like I have, you know, I work ready. with this. I work with this. I work with this in my practice. I had women going mm -hmm. through this, you know, and I had people going through this even way worse than your son. And I've seen amazing recovery from it, uh, and, uh, remarkable recoveries, really fast, very fast. People that are completely safe, you know, from this. And then the, the yeah. turnaround in the personality is remarkable, in which you don't, you, you, all those, uh, all those uh, patterns of behavior are gone. Immediately, you see the good side of him flourishing, and you see him wanting to be the good person he is meant to become. So I good. think uh, I think yeah. there so there is one thing he needs to do, and you need to support him through this. And it might probably take, I should say, um, uh, three weeks, a month and a half, not that much, and he can be totally recovered from this for a very long time ahead of him. Probably we will never drink again. You know. Wow. Yes, there is there is there him. is something that can be done. Unfortunately, because it's a matter of uh, a medical, you know, I don't necessarily go and give medical advice on the on the show, but I can guide you through this and tell you exactly. Sure. And I'll tell you where to go and what to recommend and what needs to be done. And I'm 100 percent sure because I did this with many of my patients and it can be done and it will be done. Excellent. And then he could pursue his life. Absolutely. Purpose. That's what I said. Well, then he then he can pursue his career. He can uh, live the life uh, uh, um, the fullest. He can, you know, create everything he, he you ever wanted him to do, and even more. Because he has Wonderful. extraordinary talent. He's a, he's a good human being. You know that he's trapped into this. Uh, Disorder. It's a disorder. And it is a medical problem. It is. It, it is. It is. People, pe yeah, it is. It is. And people don't acknowledge that hmm. this is one of those mm -hmm. disorders that needs medical attention, but it doesn't, it, mm -hmm. it's not necessarily treated with pills. It's treated with something else that is similar to a medication, and I will tell you what it is. Uh, and it, it can be, and it's easier... It's an easier way to treat it. It's simple, it's easy, it can be done. And he will not go there again. Because he needs that Thank kind you. of a help. Yeah. Otherwise, he is trapped. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's trapped yeah. and he doesn't want to. There's a fight between the two sides of himself. He hates himself doing it, but he doesn't have the strength to re, uh, re rewire those neurons, you know, so it's not, that's not com completely up to his willpower. Right. He needs someone to help him. Er, exactly. He needs something that, that tiny something, you know what I mean? That will do the trick for him. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, my Thank love. you so much, Carmen. Oh, my greatest pleasure. I'm, I'm so excited that you called me because, you know, we can find something. I am um, too. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm glad, Rosemary. And call any time, my love, and send me a short email. We'll find a five minutes time and we'll discuss it, okay? Okay, thanks, Carmen. And I'll tell you how okay, to do it, bye -bye. and we'll look into places where it can be done, okay? Okay, thank you again. Okay, my love. Okay, I'm going to go to, I think it's my first time caller, to Guy in New York. Hi, my dear. Hey, Carmen, how are you? I'm okay, you? Excellent. Listen, we really appreciate everything you do. And I oh. think this topic, absolutely, I think this topic about resilience and inner force it's right. very interesting to me because I feel like I'm meant to be uh, leaving behind a legacy. But also I feel that sometimes in my life, it seems that there's a price to pay. My question is, uh, how do you find the balance between accessing this power and also the pain and suffering that sometimes comes with it, right? And my part two of the question is, uh, in romance, will I meet someone this year? Thank you. So, so um, you know, I I will dissociate these two things. So, um, I think that you're you're on a mission and you have a legacy, hundred percent. I believe that, and I will work that no matter what, you know. And when it comes to right. price to pay, you don't pay a price for uh, something that you create extraordinary or, or for the legacy. Uh, you can mm -hmm. only be blessed for that, but you can pay karmic karmic. Um, uh, that's sometime in life. So uh, let's say something that you carry with you, you carry from your family, from an action done long time ago, from a romantic situation that turned into a disaster, from a, a wrong action more or less intentionally done towards someone around you at some point in your life. You know, because we all make mistakes. We're prone to errors in life. We're imperfect creatures. And consequently, mm -hmm. there is this law of the universe that is called the law of karma, in which whatever we create at some point, it's hitting us like a boomerang, you know. So it's coming right. back to us, and we feel like some of our lessons that are difficult, are painful, are just consequences of our previous action. That's one thing. And I feel like in your life you had something like this. Do you agree with me? I do, I do. But I think what I was referring to also is not so much karmic, but for example, in this physical reality now. Um, so what, like the artist's curse, right? You, you pull down a lot, as you say, uh, connect, and you pull down the inner force through creativity, and there's a price of suffering for an artist to pay, right? So my right. question is, uh, how do you balance that, those two things, those two forces? Well, you balance them by, by accepting that everything in life is minus and plus. You know, life cannot be only the, sure. the, the, the plus. You know, the, we used to say that life is algebra, it's minus and plus, because this is the way we create equilibrium. So you want life to be in equilibrium. So you have to accept mm -hmm. the two forces. That's why life is a fight between good and evil since the dawn of time. From mm -hmm. the beginning mm -hmm. of, of, of the world, there's all, there always is... Uh, the good guy and the bad guy, always, you know? Right. So it depends sure. which one you want to be because we used to say, well, there is a, a shadow within you. There is, some, there is something within yourself. There is a, there's a darkness within you, you know, and that can yeah. kick in at some point. And even you're amazed, where is this dark force coming? But then on the other side, you have the beautiful energy within you that is creative, that is... Uh, magnificent that is you know so you, it, it depends which one you want to access and sure. and they do live within you but in this time in our evolution when the the dark forces seem to take over i think all of us we we need to collectively acknowledge that we need to access the good to balance out the bad so that we don't sink then we don't go to that, we don't break the bridge in pieces and go underneath, you know what I mean? And and sink, sure. metaphorically sink, you understand what I mean? And I and do, uh, an artist is a creator, you know? It's somebody that brings uh, his voice to the world. He has something beautiful to say, he vibrates at a higher frequency. So I really believe that you, that kind of a person, that you have that within you, and you need to bring that now more than ever to the world. 
and and right. bring your creativity to the highest level and keep on digging to access that within you and express that uh, as much as you can because that is that side of you that will create the healing. The world needs the so healing to, right now. So I don't have to surrender the love or the financial component to to get this. It can happen all at once, correct? Of course, you don't have to surrender anything, no. This doesn't come that you have to surrender, absolutely not. No, at this gotcha. point in time, no. This point in time, no. And in your private life, I feel like over there, it's a, it's a missing link. Do you agree with me? Uh, what do you mean? That, like you've been struggling with life. Like you had life, then you lost the love. You had love, you lost it. You had it, I you lost like it. Yes, do you agree, agree with me? With yeah. I do, I do. So, so I feel like, at, and that, at that, um, when it comes to that, I do feel like you will regain love again so love is coming on your way again probably in a more powerful uh, with a more powerful force that you've ever had it because it's going to be more authentic this time mm -hmm. so the authenticity of love that's coming your way during the fall of this year is going to be way more strong than you've ever experienced it before so i'm really excited for you so look forward to that did you say fall of this year? The fall, during the fall, October, November, December, this time of the year. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Carmen, the, you're, the... you're amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much for everything you do. I really appreciate you. Thank you. Oh, I'm so grateful that you called. And listen, it has been my honor and my pleasure. Feel free to call anytime. Well, I'm so excited to, to, to see, you know, things unfolding for you. And I'm such a firm believer. In, in, in the goodness of your heart and everything that your soul is putting out there. I'm just excited by talking to you. Because, you know, when you talk to somebody, you feel that person's soul and you feel their intention and the magnitude of, 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 of their spirit. And that's what I feel when I talk to you. So thank you so much for calling me. I really appreciate it. And Call you're again. A great spirit, you're a great spiritual teacher as well. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. Thank you. I'm going to go to Robin in Pennsylvania. Well, I think I need to... There's so Robin, hold on the line. I'll be back in a minute. of holistic, spiritual, and conscious world. Om Times Radio, IOM FM. Ascending Hearts is no ordinary dating site, but a spiritual dating site with a purpose, to link you with your soulmate. We engineer the serendipity so you can trust that you will attune with someone that has the same matching vibration as you. Ascending Hearts, the conscious dating site for the spiritually aware. Try Ascending Hearts for free AscendingHearts.com I'm Kathy Williams, host of Sexy Mom Abundant Life radio show on Thursdays at 5 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Pacific. On the show, we explore living abundantly in every area of your life. Ways to let go of limiting patterns and beliefs and to step into the flow of creativity and possibility knowing you are supported by the universe. I am Fidel Nshombo. I was born in a city called Bukavu in the Congo. We were a loving family. And then, boom, everything that I had disappeared in a single day. People think that when you are a refugee and they recycle to America, and all your problems are done. They don't understand that that's the beginning of everything. I was not born a refugee. I was made one. It's time we welcome refugee families with open arms. Learn more at EmbraceRefugees.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council. And I'm back on Home Time Radio, and I love my topic. It's called the Empowerment Hour. You know, you are stronger than you know. You are powerful and all-knowing, but sometimes, you know, you need a little bit of guidance and reassurance in life, and that's why... You know, I, I, I decided to dedicate 
the show to restore your potential from inside out so that this way we can rebuild the confidence in your uh, abilities and breaking through the obstacles, you know, and, and, and staying true to your greater purpose, like your previous caller. He needs to say true to your purpose. So um, I'm going to go hope that hopefully at the end of the show and teach you some of my uh, so-called, I actually call them the 11 rituals for empowerment. If I don't, don't have time enough, I will actually put them on my um, Facebook page so you can read them. Because uh, that, that in everything there is a recipe, and I want you guys to follow recipes for everything. If you're feeling down, if you're feeling uh, powerless, uh, I'm gonna go now to Robin and uh, my lovely Robin. I'm here with you, so um, tell me how I can help you tonight. You well, know, first, Carmen, I want to thank you for taking my call, and thank you for these last two years for guiding me to my empowerment. I, it, if it wouldn't be for you, I don't think I could have gotten through these last two years of being able to write what I needed to write. And I finished all the documents that I needed to send to the congressman's assistant who sent it to the DOJ, uh, the VA DOJ, and they uh, got a letter, the congressman got a letter from them and said that they are going to now have an investigator. So it's Good. been such a long, long right. time. Mm -hmm. Pro yeah, the process was, but it was you right. that had given me that hope and that initi initiative to continue. Well, Robin, you know, and so you I never don't... give up in life. life. Life is a fight. We fight. We fight for justice, we fight for our rights, we fight for the, for, to, to unleash that power. And, you know, I feel like you are an example to me to never give up, you know, and to, to believe that, there, that justice will be served for you and it will be, because that's what you believe in, you know. I always said yeah. in life you can never go beyond your belief, you know, and you are a believer, a believer that if I get this, I'm going to get where I need to get, and you did. It was painful, was difficult, was time consuming, was draining. Uh, it's like sometimes you feel like you're losing your mind through the process, but your belief kept you going and kept you going. And what I did, I built, I continued to work on building your belief. That's all I did, but it was your work, so I admire you. And you are going to get exactly where you're supposed to get, absolutely 100%. I feel so confident. I actually think something good is going to happen right away. Do you expect anything from these people immediately? Um, well, I have to, in the letter, they said that uh, it takes usually six months. That was last month. And uh, But with this coronavirus, they weren't sure what it was going to what was going to happen, right. but I had, I sent them 80 pages of docu wow. documents, and then I had another nine pages uh, referring to the documentation uh, with different right. stories uh, included. So, uh, but I was very excited when uh, the, the sure. assistant to the congressman was very excited. She said, she said, this is really good news. So I was trying, I wanted yes. to tell you because we've been in on this together, you know, for right, a while. Right. And now I, I wanted to know how you felt as far as the progress. Well, I think, you know, I think that uh, um, you're really almost there. I, I feel you're so close to seeing you made enormous progress, and I think you're almost there. Like you're almost there to see the results unfolding in front of your eyes. I feel extremely good. Unfortunately, this pandemic uh, caused a lot of distress and a lot of delays in everything that has to do with the, uh, with the legal uh, uh, process. And, and in every areas of our lives, you know, this, there were a lot of delays and damages. And, but I, when it comes to your case, I do think with all my heart that you're almost there. And you're about to see something happening extremely soon. I can tell you with that something being in the next uh, uh, two days or two weeks or 
maximum two months, but we almost there versus the two years of struggling you've been going through. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And I was so amazed how I had to actually make it work instead of like a lawyer. I mean, I, I right. couldn't believe that it, the documentation That's that that I came up with was it was so well written. It's like, well, maybe I should have been a lawyer. <laughs> oh yeah, but, yeah, because but, you did it with all your heart and with all your conviction, and you knew all the, all the, you had all the elements in place. You know that sometimes the lawyer has a hard time to figure it out what's going on. You knew exactly what was going on. You got it. You know. Mm -hmm. So uh, you might well, not have the what... degree, but you did. You did a better job than anyone else would have done it for you. Without okay, a doubt. It, it, uh, and, and I'll tell you, you you got me through every time I kept sitting down at the computer. I said, Carmen said, Carmen said, and I, I keep working at it. And oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad I was able to do a little, but, a little bit of something for you. You deserve it, my love. But I am. Thank you. And again, and uh, so two weeks, two months, two days, two. The two something is coming like up. this. So it's like. Look into the immediate future. There is no, there are no more delays. And feel free to call any time on the show in a week or two. The moment you have some answers, share it, share them with me, and share them with the world okay. because the world needs to celebrate that you've achieved, you know, something extraordinary, mm -hmm. and you're an example of resilience and and uh, succeeding and accessing your own power and never give up. And there's nothing more brave and more extraordinary than this. So. I congratulate oh, you. Thank You're you. almost there. Thank you. <laughs> and my my next extraordinary thing I'm going to do is come visit you. <laughs> Please do. Absolutely. Please do. I, Absolutely. I, I do. And it's, I've been wanting to do that, meet you for 20 years. Oh, you're so sweet. So that's going to happen. Yeah. That's easier. That's All easy. Right. That's easy. Okay, my Robin. <laughs> okay. I love you, my Thank dear. You, I'm going to celebrate this too. on my own after the show. Okay, my sweetheart. Thank you so much for calling me. Okay. I really appreciate you. And I'm going to go to Daniel and, in uh, California. Hi, my Daniel. How are you, my dear? Hi, today I'm very sad and very anxious. I am in a situation about my daughter, Claudia. Uh, okay. She... She has been married for four years with Anthony. Um, they have uh, a little problem with, uh, she, he is a teacher in a high school. And, uh, a girl in the school is uh, saying that he make a suicide if he, he doesn't make, a, if he doesn't take care of her or, and um, she, my, my daughter is very sad, very sad, very anxious. And um, me too, because um, it's my daughter. Um, I don't right. know what to do, Carmen. Thank you. Oh. So let me understand exactly. So your daughter is married and there is a conflict within the marriage. Am I understanding correctly? Yes. Okay. And the conflict involves the little girl, the, your granddaughter? No, the, no, because the Anthony, the husband of my daughter, is right. a teacher, is a teacher in a high school. Oh, okay, okay. And a student in the high school uh, is uh, talking to him too much, too much. And um, he, he's Paying too much attention to the student. Uh, ah, he, I understand he, now. And he left the house yesterday. Um, I don't know what to do, Carmen, or what. Is oh, the best. okay, okay. Now I understand what the problem is, and I, I was not very clear. I understood something with the school, but I was not. Clear. Now I understand exactly what's going on. Yes, there, but but there's nothing gonna happen with that student between. The husband, Anthony, and the student, that is, uh, that chapter will close. There's nothing going to happen there. So um, I feel like, and Anthony left the house already? Yes, uh, yes, he already left. Um, she, my daughter, is crying. My, of course, wa right. My, 
my, my tell wife her not is... to cry tell her not to cry um tell her i can give her a short free session uh to calm her down and to to introspect a little bit what's gonna happen so uh, tell her i can talk to her this weekend and give her a free session so tell her to write down my number and give her what's the name of your daughter claudia claudia okay tell claudia i'm gonna help her and uh, the situation doesn't seem so bad as she thinks it is and it can be corrected and uh, I'm going to try to help us see exactly what's going on there. So just go into a deeper introspection, see where is the root of a problem. Uh, but I, I see uh, um, the husband kind of coming back uh, to her. So uh, um, I think there was a huge disagreement between them. Do they have a child together? No, no. Okay. They don't have child. Have they ever thought about having a child? No, no, they don't have problems because they have a mutual decision not to have child for an, for now. I don't know, but, uh, but uh, they don't they don't uh, they don't have a student in that situation now. Okay. This situation will be resolved with the student, but I don't mm -hmm. know what I feel like. This there is a very strong uh, uh, the way I look at it. They're gonna go back to each other and things are gonna get resolved between them. Okay. Thank you. Thank no, you. No, Thank not you. to worry and tell your daughter to call me Saturday and I can speak with her and to send me a text um, and uh, I can um, um, give you the phone number. Do you have a pen to write my phone number? Yes, I have it. 917-771-6035. Uh, okay. And Nine tell your one. daughter to 7771-6035. Oh, again, please, again. One, 917-771-6035. And tell Claudia to give me a call in the weekend on Saturday, and I will speak with her with great pleasure and help her understand exactly what's happening, but the situation will be corrected. Okay. Thank you, Carmen. Thank you, Carmen. Oh, I love you. Okay, I, love you. I love you more. I love you. Stay calm. Tell your daughter not to cry. This will get better, way better for her. There's no reason Thank of crying, okay? Thank you. I love All right, you. My dear. I, love you. I love you more. Uh, I'm going to go right now to Margo. Hi, Margo, my dear. How are you? Well, I'm okay. You? Good, holding up. Oh, I got a reincarnation question. Okay. If you don't get it together in this life from a past life, then what happens? So if you have karmic debts, like uh, like you do something really wrong to hurt another human being, or you steal, or you kill, some people kill, uh, then there is a there is a karmic debt that you need to resolve. And what happens is that you. You read. You need to incur. You're coming back. You're coming back in this earth, and you reunite with that person. Uh, it might take a while, you know, and and you need to solve that problem. You put to the similar situation or situation in which you need to e experiment something similar. You know, so that's why you see people go into dramatic situation, and some of them are karmic deaths from previous incarnations. So um, it's very interesting how karma plays because if you don't reason, that's why make sure when you go through life not to leave any karmic debts behind you, any karmic imprints by paying attention to everybody who comes into your life and don't hurt anybody and try to be in good terms. No matter what other people do to you, uh, try to to respond positive to people, even if they harm you. It's very hard to do. It's very hard to do. But that's the only way not to leave karmic imprints and not to be forced to incarnate because of one specific person. Because you don't want to do that to mm. yourself. That's that's hard. Oh my very God. Hard. Very hard. Because, you know, we, we are tempted to 
respond to react. We react to anger with anger. We respond to negativity by trying to protect ourselves, and sometimes we go uh, uh, in hurting back the person who hurt us originally. You know, the response is not always with wisdom. You know, we we are uh, vulnerable. We operate on negative emotions. You know, that's why this world we are living in is experiencing what is experiencing because what we are experiencing right now it's a karmic disease. It's something that has to do with the action of mankind through centuries. So if we will be acting differently, we will have no diseases. Diseases are man-made. Suffering is man-made. Money is man-made. Right. You know, everything is made by us. The world we are living us is not, the world we are living is beautiful. You know, but God gave us a beautiful world, but we need to work on, on, on ourselves. That's why... I did a show on empowerment, so I, I hope, uh, Marco, I answer your question because I'm going at the end of the show. And for everybody listening, I'm Carmen Hara on Home Time Radio, and I'm going to give you the 11 rituals for empowerment next time, and I'm going to post them on uh, Carmen Hara on Facebook and Instagram, and I love you guys. Be safe, and God bless all of you. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye. Mm,